Hi, everyone. It's good to see you again. Can you hear me and can you see me? Hi, yes, teacher. Hi, it's good to see you again. How are you, Rodrigo? I'm fine, thanks, teacher. Um, because it's a normal day, and only work, after work, only rest in my house. And I hope uh, the our class, only that. Okay. Um, good. Um, I didn't have classes today because I am on my final exams, so I rest. And I understand, like, um, after work, you only want to, to rest and, I don't know, to stream maybe, right? So, yeah, I understand. It was a normal day for me, too. Um, it was a better day than yesterday. <laughs> um, I'm going to, well... Tomorrow I have a, a an exam, so I have to study. But I, um, I haven't started yet. Todavía no empezado. But uh, I'm I'm completely sure that I'm going to do it right because I really love my career. So um, trato de de de, de tener confianza en mi cerebro. <laughs> so yeah, that was my day. A little bit about my day. And what about the rest of you guys? How are you? How was your day? Tengo que tenemos por aquí a Patricia, Lupita, Nazario, a Raúl. How are you? Rodrigo. Hi. You there? Can you can you hear me, everyone? Uh, Rodrigo Enrique or Rodrigo? The other Rodrigo. There is two Rodrigos. <laughs> yes. I didn't know. In this class. I didn't know. In this class. Yes. Ajá. Usualmente lo veo usted. No sabía que teníamos otro Rodrigo por aquí. Es cierto, tenemos otro Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yes, pues... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I'm Me acabo sorry. De yes, I'm sorry. Yo casi de último, yo confundiéndolos todavía. No me he dado cuenta que había dos Rodrigos. But yes, it's like Rodrigo Enrique y Rodrigo. Ay, desapareció el otro Rodrigo. Rodrigo José, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Usualmente veo a Rodrigo Enrique participar, entonces no, no, me, no me había percatado de que teníamos otro Rodrigo. No sé por qué pensé que era el único Rodrigo. I'm sorry. O sea que si participaron, seguramente yo estaba pensando en la misma persona. I'm so sorry. But um, how are you today? ¿Cómo están hoy? What are you doing? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Cómo, cómo les fue hoy? A los Rodrigos. <laughs> Uh, right now I washing uh, my clothes. Okay. In the, yeah. In the washing machine. At night. Uh, yes. Uh, in the in the morning and the afternoon. Uh -huh. I don't ha I don't have time. To, uh, to... yeah. Of course. Of course. Understand. Uh huh. But it was a good day. Repeat, please. Was it a good day? Mm. Was it a good day from one day? Ah, okay, yes. Yes, I, I, I think this is a good day. Okay. It's so, so relaxed this day. Yes. Uh, the, the next week, I, I going to uh, many activities in the work is a uh, week so hard. So, yeah, so you are resting right now that you have time for like to to save energy for the, the activities that you're going to have the other week, right? Yes, yes. Okay, understood. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, Sometimes I find um energy, oh my God. Ay, no, los perritos. Ay, se escuchan los perritos llorando y se escuchaba bien feo. Ay, no. Maybe it's a ghost, teacher. 
Ay, no sé, pero es que se escuchaba como a lo lejos unos perritos que estaban como llorando, pero se escuchaba como si les estuvieran pegando, se escucha tan horrible. Ay, no, ojalá que no, no esté pasando. Mm. No puedo con el maltrato animal, me pone mal, para que la redundancia, mal. Um, oh, what I was saying, no me acuerdo qué estaba diciendo. And... Ay, algo les estaba diciendo. Um, I lost it. <ríe> lo perdí. Perdí el hilo de lo que estábamos hablando. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope that it was a good day for you. Hi, Nazari. It's good to see you again. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Good evening, everyone. Hi. It's good to see you again in class. How are you? Wonderful. Wonderful. I had a wonderful day. Really? Why? Yeah. What did you yeah. do? All different kind of things, teacher. In uh, early morning, my day start, started really early, maybe at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I have to go to work. And I'm, I'm reading a, a, a book, mm -hmm. the, new, the news, and take a shower. Uh, watch a little bit, uh, maybe 20 minutes TV, watch the news. I uh, took my my break, go to work. A lot of things, I went to work to our Japan once again. Mm -hmm. I returned home around 11 a.m. So I take a, took a rest uh, during the afternoon mm -hmm. and I stayed home. Okay, it was yeah, a really I, good day. I took a, a, a relax. Yes. Yeah. And what What do you do in your free time when you when you have time to rest? What do you do to sleep? Uh, no, no. To be honest with you, I don't want to sleep uh, in the evening because I maybe thinking that I will have problems during the night. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And I <laughs> and I try to spend my time in in different kind of activity. Um, I'm starting another platform. Uh, so, uh, in my free time, I'm, I like to listen music, watch different kind of videos uh, online, YouTube, um, in order to improve my English. Uh, I I think that I have to do different kind of thing at least two hours maybe daily uh, and this and, and i think that i did in my free time okay it sounds great yes. sounds a really good day i'm happy for you because you 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 came back early to your home so you have time to to do the things that you need to do on um, on the day, right? Like yeah. chores or readings or I made I, I made my my schedule. For oh, example, okay. my day in my day in my office started at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 4 p.m. But if I start at 6 a.m., for example, I have I have to travel to another uh, city. And I will return uh, before. 12 or 1 p.m. maybe yeah it's not no. like a really long time right no it's not it's not a long time to work uh, yeah, according to my schedule i just work eight hours but in my schedule i just work uh four hours at least. Oh, okay. yeah it sounds better like that yeah, yeah like um to travel is really hard activity you always be exhausted when you travel right yeah i have maybe i have to travel let me see at least three hours daily when i went to when i go to visit son sonata for example mm -hmm. i have traveled one hour one hour and a half uh, in two ways so i spend three hours at least of my day traveling But I try to use my time when I have to ride at the bus and make different kind of activities when okay, I ride so the bus. You stay active. You stay active. Um, yes, I think so. But my better thing that 
that I make is listen music. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that music is like a relax for me. I, can, I just learn different kind of vocabulary, new words, uh, rules, a uh, lot of things. Phrase. English. Is the music yeah. in English? Yeah, phrases, a uh, lot of things. The pronunciation, listening. I yeah, think, of well, course. I learned a lot of English in listening to music. Um, yo sé que hay muchas personas que se han que han aprendido, por ejemplo, en academias. Yo sí fui a distintas academias. I went, pero yo siento que la mayoría del inglés que aprendí lo aprendí yo solita <laughs> con la música. Yeah, I know, I know. For example, in my case, sometimes I don't know if you had had the same problem when you were studying English, but but sometimes when I am listening music, different kind of music, I feel like uh, three, three years old children. It's so difficult to understand. Yeah, of the, course. The listening, yeah, it's not easy. But uh, the, the first time, the second one is better and, and improve every day. I think so. Mm -hmm. And when you learn the letter, it's easier, right? Cuando ya se puede como yeah. Ahí. Yeah, I think so. It helps us to, to, to learn vocabulary. I really love the music because, first of all, it's so relaxing. I really love to listen to music. And I love to um to to hear and to understand the the um to understand like the lyrics without read the lyrics in Spanish, right? Como right, yeah. Sin leer, yeah, sin leer la, this is la... wonderful. Ajá, y se yeah. siente bien cool. <laughs> yeah. It's the reason. If you want to learn, you have to listen music uh, with or without titles. Uh, I, I don't like to use subtitles, but some time I have to use because different kind of words that I have to learn. And so sometimes it's, it's necessary to use different kind of subtitles yeah but course. it's wonderful but it's wonderful the way that to be honest with you sometimes i feel like uh three years old children because i understood a little yeah, bit of course about it. learning a new language yeah. right it's like yeah. when they start to yeah to true. learn <laughs> yeah okay tengo por aquí a francisca que dice me too i went to different academies to learn my english and también Francisca dice que fue a diferentes academias para aprender inglés. So I went to, yeah, by the way, um, la verdad es que sí fui a varias academias y en el colegio, en el colegio sí, eh, el inglés que veíamos a nosotros al menos, eh, nos dividían por básico, intermedio y avanzado y cada año nos hacían un examen para saber en qué nivel estábamos. So someday I pass the exam and they tell me that I will um, receive like the advance and I was in shock. La verdad estaba bastante choqueada porque yo sentía que no hablaba tan bien el inglés como para estar en avanzado y la mayoría de mis compañeros ya habían salido de academias prestigiosas y así. And I, I, I remember to feel, I remember to feel so nervous because uh, I didn't understand the complete uh, the complete conversations with my teacher or with my classmates and they were um, so smart with English because they 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 were practicing since they were uh, little right but I didn't yo no comencé a practicar desde que estaba muy chiquita sino que comencé como cuando tenía 10 más o menos entonces yo cuando me pusieron en avanzado fue como oh my god what I'm going to do here so it's like sometimes we think that we are not going to um we're not going to to do it in the future but we can si yo pude que era que 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 inglés era la materia que más me costaba cuando estaba en el colegio y ahora soy maestra de inglés you can do it right que les sirva mi experiencia de 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 cuando no sabía absolutamente nada de inglés y ahora siendo maestra es like Cosas que nunca imaginé si le hubieran dicho a la Abby chiquita, algún día vas a ser maestra de inglés, ahora en que ahorita no entendas nada, diría, oh my God, no. <laughs> so I understand, but you can, yeah. you can, you can keep you trying. You are right, teacher. 
You're right, but don't be afraid. I think that is that easy yeah. the way to change. Yes, but don't be afraid. Of course. That's the most important thing. Don't be afraid of things. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with a conversation. Uh, hubo alguien que me, que me preguntó si podíamos hacer más eh, ejercicios del, pasado, del presente perfecto. Y, y sí, solamente déjenme que continúe con la parte de la conversación y vamos a abrir un espacio de preguntas y respuestas porque también vamos a practicar el Simple Future. So, voy a hacer yo unos ejemplos del el presente perfecto y luego nos quedamos practicando el Simple Future, ¿ok? Um, perdón. Okay, so we're going to start with a conversation. This is like going places and we're going to see like, um, well, remember that the, the main topic is like uh, the simple future. We are talking about the simple future with going to right now and tomorrow we're going to see will. So we're going to practice um, with to be going to, but you can see that this conversation is about going places. So we're going to read about it. Case okay? so I need two volunteers to help me to read this conversation. You can raise your hand. Que okay, Carla Eugenia va a ser Lucy. Y me falta alguien que sea la mamá. Mom. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be the mom? This mom? Okay, pero aquí tengo alguien más. Ah, Patricia, okay. So, Carla is Lucy, Patricia is mom. Go girls. Hey mom, I went to backpack around Europe this summer. What do you think? Backpack around Europe? That sounds dangerous. You shouldn't uh, by, go by yourself. You are out to go with someone. Yes, I've done of that. You better do your father first. I already did. He thinks it's a great idea. He wants to come with me. Okay, perfect. ¿Me, ¿Se me escucha bien? Yes, sí. teacher. Ok, es que me tira de repente la notificación de que mi internet está inestable. Entonces, no sé si me escucha bien, pero creo que sí. Ok. Uh, we did it great with this. This is a really short conversation about like going places. And um, of course, when you are talking about like going places, you are going to use a simple future, right? Because it's, it's a future thing, like somewhere that you are going to go, okay? So first of all, I need to know if you have any um, any question about the vocabulary that is here. Is there any question? No? It's a really okay, short conversation. To... Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Sorry, Francisca, I didn't hear you again. Yes, yes, I have a, a did I with, uh, with the meaning about the out. Out, este que está aquí. Yeah. Este que yes. está aquí. Sí, yes. esto es como un deberías, es como should. Es como un, un, un sinónimo de should, out. Deberías. Like, you ought to go with someone. También podría ser, you should to go with someone. Como deberías no. ir con alguien. Okay? Yes. So. Uh, the auxiliary or not? Uh, out, like an auxiliary, no. No es un auxiliar. Más bien, no sé cómo se les llaman estas palabras. Se me ha olvidado el nombre de las palabras. Pero que son como condicionantes. Eh, por ejemplo, el, el should es... Um, Es un verbo modal, un verbo modal porque es un condicionante. Igual que can, igual que would. So out is like a synonym for should. Es un sinónimo de should y también significa deberías. Como out to es like deberías de o debes de hacer algo. Okay? Que alguien tenga que hacer okay. algo. Ok, I get it. Idea. Thank you. Ok, a pleasure. Is there any other question? No, everything is fine. 
Ok, les voy a presentar primero mi paint. Ok, avísenme cuando puedan ver mi paint, ok. Avísenme cuando la puedan ver. Ok, can you see it? Yes. Ok, perfecto. Uh, primero lo primero, alguien nos pidió que por favor hiciéramos algunos ejemplos más con presente perfecto y vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos, ok, les voy a mostrar algunos ejemplos en positivo, en negativo y en pregunta. Ok, por ejemplo, podemos decir, I, I have um, eaten, I have eaten um, shrimp. Um, for all my bre Sunday breakfast, for example, Sunday or Sunday lunch, better Sunday lunch, okay? I have eaten shrimp for all my Sunday lunch. It's like, he comido eh, camarones to, eh, como todos mis, mis almuerzos de domingo, ¿sí? Todos los almuerzos de domingo yo he comido camarones, ¿ok? I have eaten. So, when you are using this dance, you're going to use the subject, that is the, uh, the, the people that you are talking about, of, of course. Have, that is the auxiliary, or has, si es el, ella o eso, ¿ok? Have and has. The verb imparsible, right now is eaten. Shrimp. Es el, lo que se va a comer. Shrimp for all of my Sunday lunch. Shrimp son camarones, right? For all my Sunday lunch. Este es todo el complemento. Ok. Lo importante es que se utilice el auxiliar del tiempo y el verbo en pasado participio. Ok. Veamos otro. Uh, no. Veamos. Let me see. We're going to say. Melissa, Melissa has, Melissa has studied, Melissa has studied for her exam. Melissa has studied for her exam. Melissa is the, the she, of course, the women that I am talking about. Has is the auxiliary for she studied is the participle of the verb. No se les olvide que los, eh, los, los verbos regulares son el mismo en pasado simple y en pasado participio, ¿ok? Los, so, pero son los verbos regulares, ¿ok? Studied for her exam. Es un verbo regular porque tiene la ID. Studied for her, her exam, ¿ok? Melissa has studied for her exam. Veamos uno donde hagamos ellos. They, they have broken the rules. They have broken the rules. Ellos han roto las reglas. They, ellos, have, es ese an, ok, es el auxiliar del sujeto. Remember que have es para I, you, she, no, I, you, we, and they. Y has es para he, she, it. Por lo tanto decimos they have broken. Broken es el participio de the break, right? Break. Is break, broke, broken. Okay. So broken is the participle. They have broken the rules. Ellos han quebrado las reglas o han roto las reglas. Así se entiende. Roto. Okay. Este, este tiempo de participio es como cuando nosotros decimos en español: comido, bebido, caminado, roto, eh, dicho, um, saltado, estudiado. Sí, esa, esa conjugación en el español es lo mismo que el participio en inglés. Ok, que este participio en inglés es el equivalente a este participio en inglés. So, veamos una más con... Quiero un verbo distinto, let me see. I have believed... 
I have believed in you. And you betrayed me. Okay. And I have believed in you and you betrayed me. Es como yo he creído en ti y tú me traicionas, right? You betrayed me. Using like the, the participle of believe, that is believe because it's, an, it's a regular verb, okay? So do you have any questions about this? ¿Tienen alguna, alguna, alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Este es el verbo que vimos, el tiempo, perdón, que vimos en la semana pasada, pero no sé si queda alguna, alguna duda todavía de cómo, qué, qué es o para qué se usa o de la estructura. Los verbos en participio sí es algo que se tienen que aprender de memoria prácticamente, ¿ok? Eso sí que no hay para dónde. Los verbos en participio sí que, los verbos en pasado simple, en participio, sí se los tienen que aprender de memoria. Uh, porque, pues así son, son como son. Dice Francisca, other example will be, John has worked in a hospital for two years. Look at this. Vamos a poner por aquí para que todos lo vean. Esta la hizo Francisca. Esta no es mía, esta es de Francisca. John has worked in a hospital for two years. John ha trabajado en un hospital por dos años. Ok, por dos años, for two years. John has worked. Okay, excellent um, example, Francisca. Thank you so much. Okay, is there any more questions about it? No, creo que el tiempo en realidad está bastante fácil. Um, but si tienen alguna pregunta sobre, no sé si el, el, los verbos, yo sé que puede parecerles un poquito difícil cuando lo ven la primera vez pero en realidad son mucho más fáciles que utilizarlos en el español todos los tiempos en el inglés. Créanme que son mucho más fáciles que utilizarlos en el español y en el momento en que se den cuenta, se van a dar cuenta de que es más fácil utilizar el inglés que el español. Si usted pudo aprender el español, que es un inglés, que es un, inglés, que es un idioma más complicado, pueden aprender inglés, right So, they have broken the rules, they have believed in you, and John has worked, okay This is the... Present perfect, es un presente perfecto y está vinculando el pasado con el presente, ok? Something that happened in the past, we're going to link it with the present, lo vinculamos con el presente. And remember, the important thing or the main thing is like to remember the outcome, recordar el resultado de la acción, qué es lo que pasó, lo que no pasó, ok? ¿Qué es lo que pasó? Que él rompieron las reglas, ¿qué es lo que pasó? Que yo creía en él o en, en ti. ¿Qué es lo que pasó? Que John tra ha trabajado. Sí, eso es el resultado de la acción. ¿Ok? Es lo que pasó o lo que no pasó. Pero también puede ser negativo, right? Por ejemplo, John hasn't worked. John no ha trabajado en un hospital por dos años, por ejemplo. John hasn't worked or has not worked in a hospital for two years. Any more questions about the, the tense? About this tense? No. Ok, yo creo que el tense en realidad es bastante sencillo. Um, si tienen alguna pregunta al respecto pueden hacérmela y yo les recomiendo que si sienten que el tense les ha quedado como un poquito así como lo entiendo pero todavía no lo puedo usar bien porque no me puedo bien los verbos, agarren una, una libreta y pónganse a escribir oraciones. Si sí, ustedes solitos, háganse oraciones para que practiquen los verbos. Recuerden que no se van a aprender los verbos solo teniendo la lista ahí guardada, sino que necesitan practicarlos, necesitan usarlos, necesitan saber para qué es believe, para qué es broken, para qué es work, para qué es, eh, es round, para qué es, I don't know, para qué es complain, ya yeah, necesitan saber para qué son todos estos verbos, necesitan saber cuál es el significado para que usted pueda utilizarlos y que se le queden en la cabecita. Por lo tanto, yo sí les, eh, yo sí les diría de que hagan... Esto de, en una libretita pónganse a hacer oraciones, así simples. El punto es de que ustedes se aprendan los verbos primero. Y segundo, no se les olvida la estructura del tiempo, que la estructura es bien fácil, súper, súper fácil. Y como les digo, es la misma estructura casi que en todos los tiempos, solo les va cambiando el, o el auxiliar o la conjugación del verbo. Y lo demás es igual. So, it's easier than in Spanish. Es mucho más fácil que decirlos en español. Créanme que sí. Y, y aprendieron español, so you can learn English. Okay? So, ya que no tienen 
ningún, eh, ningún, ninguna pregunta acerca del present perfect. Vamos a practicar un poquito el simple future. So first of all, I just need you to remember uh, why do we use the simple future, okay? Remember that we have the simple future to talk about things that haven't happened yet, but they um, are going to happen in the future. And we said that there are two ways to talk about in the simple future when you are talking with going to, that is for, um, uh, for plans, for like when you are completely sure that one thing is going to happen in the future because you plan it and because you have um, the time and, 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 and all of the things like, for example, I am sure that I'm going to graduate. Mientras esté viva, al menos me voy a graduar. So I am sure that this thing is going to happen. I am going to graduate um, in two years. Digamos que en dos años. Cuando mucho, espero yo. And so it's like, like this, okay? And we said that we have will, que es el que vamos a ver específicamente mañana, que se utiliza para hablar sobre posibilidades. Possibilities in the time. For example, something that I want to do in the future, but I am not completely sure if that thing is going to happen. Um, it's a possibility, like, for example, I would like to... I would like to have a big house. I don't know if that is going to happen, but I, I will do it, okay? Yo voy a decir que lo voy a hacer, ¿sí? No tengo la, la, el 100% de certeza de que eso va a pasar, pero tengo como al menos la intención de que pase en un futuro. Por lo tanto, también es futuro simple, okay? Es una posibilidad. So remember when we are talking with going to, we, we, we saw the structure, vimos la estructura y decíamos que utilizamos subject, verb to be, auxiliary, that is going to, the verb in the base form and the complement, okay? El verbo va en su forma base, comer, tomar, saltar, drink, eat, jump, walk, complain, eh, comb, war, um, walk, talk, right? El verbo en su forma base. So um, I'm going to start doing a question to you and you're going to answer it, okay? This is the question. Why are you going to buy a new cell phone? Or are you going to buy a new cell phone? Okay, raise your hand who wants to answer the question. Levante la mano quien quiera responder la pregunta. Raúl, ok, Raúl, I'm listening to you. Ok, I, I am going to buy a new cell phone because my last cell phone, uh, my, my last cell phone uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't work. Ok, yeah, doesn't work anymore, ya no funciona, right? <laughs> ok, yeah, it's a good uh, reason why. Thank you so much, Raúl. Okay, Raúl, your turn. Ask a question and pick someone yes. to answer it. Miss, good evening. Um, I had a question. I would like to yes. say um, mi teléfono actual. I don't know how to say it in English. Like, uh, mi teléfono actual. Creo que podría decir... Es que nunca he hecho eso en inglés. <laughs> Quiero ver... My current cell phone, current, currently, que viene de, 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 como en este momento, como actualmente, right? It's like currently, so my current cell phone, podría ser, my current cell phone. Oh, el que tengo. Perdón. El que tengo ya no funciona. Mm -hmm. El que tengo, no sé, la traducción de eso, en vez de decir current. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the one, the one. That, that I, I have. have. El que tengo. The one that I have. El que yo tengo. Esto es. Ay, okay. ahí está. The one that I have. El que yo tengo. The one that I have. El que yo tengo en este momento. Or you can say my current cell phone isn't working right now. Or the one that I have. El que yo tengo ahorita. The one that I have. Um, it doesn't work anymore. Ya, ya no. 
ya no funciona, it doesn't work anymore. Anymore es como ya no, o ya no más, ¿ok? It doesn't work anymore, the one that I have, ¿ok? Good. Ok, Raúl, can you please ask a question? Ok. Uh, where are you going to travel in two years? To travel in two years. Ok, pick someone to answer it. Escoja a alguien para que se la responda. Ok, uh, let me see. Nazario. Nazario, ok, Nazario. Hi. Hi, Rodrigo. Well, I'm going to travel in two years, maybe to London. Okay, yeah. You're going to travel to London, okay? It sounds a really good plan. Thank you so much, um, Nazario. Okay, your turn, Nazario. Ask a question. Uh, let me see. I'm going to pick up maybe who's in the shot. The question is for Deborah. Deborah, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you going to eat tomorrow? Okay, where are you going to eat tomorrow? Deborah. Okay. Um. I guess I'm going to eat a uh, Chinese food. Okay, yeah, but but where? Where are you going to eat Chinese food? It's oh, a okay. restaurant. Oh, I'm going to eat Chinese food in, near to my office. Okay. And it's like a restaurant. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, you can say you're know, near to my job, right? You uh, will invite me, you will invite me, please. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, invite us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. It sounds good. Okay. Then what is your turn? Ask a question. I mean, uh, let me see. You can do it. You can do it. Just say que usted puede. I'm not sure, but uh, when. Mm -hmm. You are going to, when we're going to, to travel around the world. Okay, so. when, when we, me dijo, verdad? Perdón, 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 no terminé de escuchar la oración completa. Again. are going to travel around the world. Are we going to travel to work, me dijo? No. When are you going to travel around the world? Ah, are you going to travel around the world? Okay. Good question. Good question. You did it great. Okay. Okay. So pick someone to answer it. Escoja alguien para que se la responda, de verdad. Um, Lupita, por example. Lupita, okay, Lupita, you there? Um, I'm going to uh, travel to Paris. Okay, yeah, but the, the, the question is when, okay, when, cuando, okay? Not where, is when, cuando. Uh, when, cuando, um, sería um, to all. What, what, sorry? To all, maybe. Um. Okay, I, I don't understand what you're on saying. Vacation. In vacation. Ah, you're on your vacations, okay. You can say, ¿cómo lo diría completo? ¿Cómo lo diría completo? I am going to travel uh, Paris in vacation. Excellent, on my vacations. Excellent, on, in my vacaciones. Okay, that's a date. It's un día, es una fecha, okay? Remember, when is para preguntar fechas, okay? Um, cuando, 
¿sí? When es cuando. Y where es para preguntar lugares. ¿Dónde? ¿Ok? When es cuando. Where es dónde. ¿Ok? Thank you so much, Lupita. Lupita, your turn. Ask a question. Um, why are why oh, why why are you going to um buy clothes? Buy clothes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you going to buy clothes? Okay. ¿Quién se la va a responder, Lupita? Pick someone. Mm, no, sorry. Nazario. Ok, Nazario. Hi, Lupita. Hi. Good to hear you once again. Have a nice night. Let me see the question. Why are you going to buy clothes? Uh, well, I'm going to buy clothes uh, because my jeans are ripped. Ripped. A rip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. They are ripped. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Thank you so yeah. much, Nazario. Okay, guys, you did it so great with this. Is there any questions about how to use the simple future? ¿Cómo se usa el simple future? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yo, Miss, uh, I, I didn't understand the, the word that Nazario said. A uh, ripped. It's a ripped. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. Okay, Nazario, tell Deborah what is ripped. Uh, for example, uh, my jeans is ripped. It's like a roto, right? Yeah, roto. Yeah, ripped. Ripped. Es, están rotos, se, se rompieron, se rompieron, yeah. están desgastados, están, tienen hoyos. <laughs> sí, that is like ripped. Okay. Se los voy a poner ripped. aquí en el, en, el, en el chat. Tiene, este es un verbo, es un verbo regular, por cierto, ripped es un verbo regular y significa como roto, rasgado, con hoyos, como usted le quiera decir. Está bien, ¿ok? Ripped. Está en roto, rasgado, con hoyos, puntos que está desgastado, ¿ok? Eso es lo que significa. That, ¿ok? Is there another question? No. Okay, so we're going to have the activity. Okay, the speaking activity. This is the question for today. What are you going to do on your next vacations? On your next vacations. Casi vienen las vacaciones de agosto. So, what are you going to do on your next vacations? At least five things. Al menos cinco cosas que usted va a hacer en sus próximas vacaciones. Okay, cuéntenme. What are you going to do on your next vacations? ¿Qué van a hacer en las siguientes vacaciones? Okay, so I'm going to put you into the breakup rooms and you know what to do. I'm going to see you here later. Okay, go guys. Getting to the break on rooms, please.
Hi, everyone. Okay, I think we are all back into the Zoom, this room. So I would like to know who wants to share the exercise. ¿Qué, ¿A quién le gustaría compartirnos el ejercicio? Teacher, you are from San Salvador. Yeah, of course. But you are in trouble in August because vacation is on weekend. Oh. Saturday five and Sunday six. I really? I shared But I am I am a few minutes ago. <laughs> we 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 have the entire week. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tal vez cuando ya trabaje, bueno, me refiero a cuando ya sea como una profesional y tenga un trabajo <laughs> que no sea este. Ah, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. A veces a veces olvido que también soy maestra. Y que este es mi trabajo, <laughs> se me olvida. Y digo cuando trabaje y se me olvida que tengo un trabajo. I'm sorry. But uh, como estoy en la universidad, nosotros sí nos dan la semana completa, así como les dan a todos, <laughs> a todos los niños, <laughs> a todo el Ministerio de Educación. So uh, I'm going to have the complete, the complete quit. Sí tengo la semana completa. <laughs> ok, no solo los propios días. Ya, y creo que este es mi último año que tengo estas vacaciones, porque pues este año egreso, entonces... Es muy posible que dentro de poquito ya me toque trabajar. <risa> Espero, I hope so, encontrar trabajo en mi carrera. Cruzo mis deditos por eso. And um, tell me who wants to share the exercise. Antes de que nos vayamos, quisiera escuchar al menos alguna. What are you going to do on vacations? You were talking about your vacations, right? Mm -hmm. Who wants to share the exercise or do I have to pick someone? No, okay, let me see, Lupita, are you there? Pepita, no. Ok, Rodrigo, you there? Enrique o José. Uh, Rodrigo, José, ¿por qué porque habló? Ok. Ok, teacher. Um, in my case, uh, I don't have a vacation because I work in a call center. Oh, And yeah. in the call center, the don't have a vacation yeah, only when I complete the years uh, I I have a vacation uh, of, of my years only mm -hmm. but in the August or April for example I don't have a vacation <laughs> yeah I know it's very sad yeah pretty sad but um, on your next vacations what are you going to do maybe not um on august but what are you going to do uh, on your next vacations en las siguientes en las siguientes del año um yeah for example i hope to going to go at the beach or the mountain but i prefer visit different places when when it's alone because i like uh, when you have uh, many people, I prefer visit the places when you alone, for example. Yeah, okay. I understand. Um, agree, agree. <laughs> Yo también prefiero cuando no hay muchas personas. Okay, thank you so much, Rodrigo. Thank you so much, guys, for this class. Um, is there any, any more questions about the class, about the dance or something? No, no more questions. Okay, no. so I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. Hi. See you tomorrow. Bye.